We got a theme going with couches. <laughs> oh, in there. It's so trippy seeing a baby holding an iPhone. <laughs> like, that is a trip right there. <laughs> Does she like play a game or something? No, but okay. she like turns the flashlight on and off yeah. and she'll take pictures like of her feet and stuff. So cute. Is it recorded? Yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, hell. All right. Well, heal. We'll start with the uh, Instagram one, dude. Get you started real good. Start with the gram. <clears throat> start with the gram. I was thinking earlier, maybe I'll end with the gram, but we starting with it. <clears throat> Do you have like an intro for this shit already? Yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm Bobby Canode. This is Canode Knows, episode three, featuring Clay Johnson. Yo. I'm, I want to get somebody to sing like a really corny like Canode Knows or something super cheesy. All right. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah, I got a really goofy sound for it already. Let's see. All right, let's see. So, what are you drinking in there? That is 10 High, or no, Wild Turkey 101. Okay, nice. It's a pretty strong shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll, Get you that'll up. do it, man. That's a full ass man's glass, dude. Good for you, man. <laughs> Sip up. Speaking of which, does he miss OG4 Loco? At Ditch Frank. Oh, ask, man. Does he miss OG4 Loco? Yes and no. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer. That shit, dude. We used to get loose on 4 Loco. Mm -hmm. and they, like, I remember so many wild ass memories of 4 Loco, especially with Frank on his birthday one year. I remember being blacked out. Well, I don't remember being blacked out because I was blacked out. <laughs> but I came out of being blacked out after I renegated a great Four Loco. And I'm chugging it. And I'm just, Frank's yelling at me like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he like snatches it from me and I come to him I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, you're going to kill yourself. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. I missed out on the, I think, the crazy Four Loco days. I maybe did it once, but I don't remember. I don't. I don't have the stories. We used to have four local guys. Fridays, and every Friday night we'd get the yellow, the grape, like all the new shits. Yeah. I remember I had a yellow one, and shit almost gave me a heart attack, I felt like. Damn. I was laying on the ground. It's like, y'all got chill for a little bit. <laughs> Once my heart relaxed, and I'm like, all right, back to drinking it. What was, like, is it just caffeine that was in it? I or couldn't some tell Some secret you. chemicals, dude? I feel like Did it was get away energy drink and... Energy drink and booze. A lot of alcohol. Yeah. Then we made Mad Locos. What's that? That was, you get, say, a blue Four Loco, you get a blue Mad Dog 2020. Oh my God. Mix them together with some, a little bit of Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> As if it wasn't enough sugar, dude, hell yeah. Mad Locos. But that's shit. a party, man. I had Mad Dog 2020 maybe once in my life and it felt pretty good. Like, just that glass bottle, the shape of it. Dude. Yeah. It's just so sugary, man. I can't even imagine doing both of those at the same time. Yeah, that was wild. All right, there we go. At Ditch Frank. Okay, he's got like three more questions for you. We'll save those. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Then we got. Let's see. Abdul Fofana, the Whoa. chill black kid, says, "When are you making more cooking videos?" <laughs> so talk about Chef Side Legend, man. Uh, he actually told me to start a fucking cooking Instagram. It was Abdul? Sick. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Then I did it, and it's like, whatever. But now I hate having to keep up with that shit. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm cooking. Work. <laughs> Damn, do I want to do this? Gotta then I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like nothing is extravagant enough. Like, everyday shit, I feel like I shouldn't put on there because it ain't yeah. that but, great. And you, I don't know. But also, like, I think you should. It's fun. Because, like, even just cooking anything in general is more than most people do. Like, I don't cook. Yeah. I make a smoothie here and there. But, like, I love even... I don't know what it is about, like, looking at food... It makes sense to me that food is on TV all the time. It's just yeah. fun to watch. It's funny. I think I think it's more funny that I made an Instagram and then some bullshit Photoshop picture I made and just put it on there. Yeah. I don't know. I'll it's get tight. back on it. Yeah. Shit, whatever. I'll get back to it. I'll just do whatever I make every day. Mm-hmm. 
We got three topics from Mouse Powell saying Miracle, gardening, and cooking. So let's talk about Miracle, dude. You want to go straight into that? Yeah, um, why not? Where do you want to go? All right, let's talk about how you started writing, actually. Let's, we'll save Instagram for later. Um, Paint me a picture of you fucking beginning wow. writing. Little kid, probably third grade. Lives on apartment complex right by Encanto Skate Park. So you were born in Arizona? Yeah. Okay. Born downtown. One of the rare fucking natives. Yeah. Oh, born and raised. I don't think I know that many people that were born and raised here, and that's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, apartments right by where Encanto Skate Park is now, Desert West. Yeah. It wasn't there back then, obviously. Mm-hmm. But lived there. Some kids I went to uh, elementary school raced, and they would wear their jerseys to school and shit. And I always liked BMX, didn't know what it was, though. And uh, I seen the movie... Not Rad, the other one that had Nicole Kidman in it. Mm, yeah. It's before my time for sure. Name. They all had mag wheels on and I, and I was obsessed with mags after that. Yeah. I eventually got mags, but they were way played out by the time I got them, but I still rode them and give a shit. But yeah, these kids raced and they brought magazines to school. And like I remember looking at them and being like, damn, this shit's tight. My mom got me a little... I don't know, a little cheap, like 16 inch. I was mm-hmm. really small in third grade or whatever. So, rode that around my apartments, jumping speed bumps, jumping curb cuts. I didn't know what BMX was. I just knew you could jump shit on your bike. Yeah. And it looked fun. Then there was dirt jumps around the corner. No landings, they're just lips to flat. It was, Sick. It was crazy. <laughs> Went there, didn't really jump them. I just continued riding my apartments, broke my cranks on a speed bump. And my mom right there was like, you're too big for a BMX bike. No, play football. I was crushed. Well, got a mountain bike. Okay. Didn't even really ride it because I yeah, was one of the BMX. <laughs> then I played football, yeah, right then and there also. Same time, I think third grade I started tackle. Yeah, third grade I started football also. But yeah, riding my bike in the apartments from some racers I met at school. And That's tight. That's pretty much how I and started And then what riding. about like getting a BMX bike? I didn't have one until that first one. I didn't get another one until like seventh grade or so something. So it was just football, for real. Like, yeah. no riding after that. And then. I like rollerbladed and roller skated. <laughs> Tight. You used to go to this place called Rolero, like okay. on the weekends, like for little kids and shit. You go like skate and mech on girls and all this bullshit when you're a little yeah. kid. I remember ours was called like Great Skate. Or yeah. Some shit. yeah. Yeah, they still got that one. We were like, fuck Great Skate, we're going to Rolero. Yeah. Because it was like two different, you know what I mean? It's the same thing with different yeah. sides of the city. But uh, I used to take those skates and, like, go street skate. I don't know, just to do something else. Yeah. So I was doing that shit and didn't know what I was doing. I, I wish I could see that. Jumping off shit, <laughs> yeah. jumping off loading docks. I didn't know, you know what I mean? I yeah. was trying to do something. Then her boyfriend at the time got me a, a chrome dyno VFR. Okay. Just showed up with it and was on Sick. again right after that. Hell yeah. Full on in it. Tight. Every day. Who was, like, your first homie around here? BMX wise when I was growing up yeah I guess so probably just do Lee okay. Lee Pacheco he used to ride a lot obviously back here then he moved to New Mexico rode a little bit then and there then got into some shit that you know shit yeah. happens but yeah he was the first homie and there was a couple more of us what about like videos like your, your first your early influences like video was mine was like Shook, it's on, and that shows my age of Damn. when I got into it. And you're much more OG. So, what was your? Did you like first have a friend that had videos? Because that's how it was for me. I went over to a buddy's house. And I think the first like everything was dirt jumping. All the videos were mm-hmm. back in the '90s, late '90s. Not all of them, but what we saw were dirt jumping videos. Yeah. There's one called Nachos, and. God, I think nachos we just watch over and over just because it was the only shit we had. Yeah. All trails. We didn't even really ride. Like, Do you remember the first time you saw Toboggan? I remember the first dirt jump Toboggan I saw, and I was like, what is that trick, dude? That looks <laughs> sick. It was probably in that movie Nachos. That, yeah. I seen so much shit in there. And I wish was, I knew who it was. It was on TV, was too, right? Like, that movie? No, not that movie, but like BMX in the 90s, I feel like, was Late more mainstream. Late 90s, there yeah. was Crank? I think that show was called Crank. Yeah, I have no idea. I just have a feeling that it was. Yeah. It was more like mainstream. And I was actually on one of those. They they went 
to film Adam Baker for Crank. Yep. And I went with Danny Williams, him and Adam were boys. So Sick. we went to Prescott and they filmed yeah. Adam Baker riding the trails. And Those like, trails are insane, dude. Yeah, there, his first, yeah. it was Sunset Trails, his very first set of trails or whatever that we all knew about at least. Yeah. They were crazy as fuck. Yeah. And, and they had like a group, you know, like they do the group shot, like, you're watching Crank, some bullshit. Yeah. So we're all in that. And Sick. that was we the first time that. I met him and he's like, oh, Ronnie Chalk. <laughs> and then he just rode by. I was like, this motherfucker call me Ronnie Chuck. <laughs> and I was like, fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here, man. Adam Baker. Fuck you, Adam Baker. <laughs> Ronnie Chuck. But yeah, uh, what were we talking about for that? Oh, videos. Yeah, nachos. And then I remember seeing uh, Domination standard video. Like, pretty close around the same time. Mm -hmm. Didn't still really know too much about BMX like on that level I remember seeing a couple props and then we got on the down low okay the L's video yeah and that shit was like whoa just because I think well for me it was because it was all local yeah like that no one cared what other video there was I'm watching on the down low like, yeah I still have the video I think I just watched it on YouTube yeah it's the on the internet day. yeah it's fucking weird. It is weird, man. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Everything's weird. Is that the one where they're interviewing Smoker Dave in the kitchen and shit? Nah, He's... I think that's like shut down. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. They all had little interviews. Yeah. On the yeah. downloads before that. Okay. But uh, Rat Boy was only 16 in it. And I remember seeing an ad for it in a ride. It had like it had Rat Boy, Gons, Chris Toss, I think Smoker. And they all had like little sequences. Sick. And Rat Boy's on a Feeble 180 bar at the wedge. When he's 16 and this is like 90 something yeah. i've never seen that shit before down the hubba or what on the outledge like you know where the hubbas are and then to the right there's like that random left side brick outledge like yeah. a four or three yeah, yeah 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 no one yeah. rides it yeah but it was on that that's so crazy how long the wedge has been going as a spot yeah, dude. Man. what a feeble 180 bar in like <sighs> late 90s or yeah. some shit who knows when he filmed it who <clears> knows when the, you know what i mean but i saw it in the late 90s he was ahead of his time like that shit's sure. crazy but yeah, that video, and then uh, in a VHS. Oh, I player. still have the VHS to this day. Yeah, it's in my attic right now, but Sick. still have that shit. Um, yeah, That's that Arizona. Video, dude, I would watch it every day. Yeah, on mute or with my own music playing, or then I'll just watch the weird ass music they had in yeah. there, listen to it. And uh, what else did I see? Standard Country was another one mm -hmm. that I was into a lot because Lucky had a part. He was one of my favorite writers back then. Punjab. Uh, and then I think to steal it all was Base Brooklyn video. Sick. That one was like it. You so know you're I mean? putting pegs on your dyno at this point? No. Oh, well, when Base Brooklyn came around, I was it was way later. Okay. I first put pegs on. I remember the first time I seen someone with pegs because we were all dirt jumping. Like yeah. that was all there was. Yeah. We would jump downstairs and shit, but that was as far as street riding went. We seen some kid with pegs, and he's like, well, what, is, what do you got pegs on one side for? And he's like, to grind. You're like, um, grind what? He's like, ledges, or like, concrete? <laughs> like, that shit ain't gonna slide, what are you doing? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. We just laughed at him, whatever, like, we didn't know. Yeah. But now look at us, you know what I mean? Yeah. But this kid, I don't know who he was, I never seen him again after that, we probably fucking ruined his day or some shit. I remember like, asking that question too, just like, it's so weird the first time you see a bike with like, only two on the side because yeah. you used to homie hoppers on the back yeah straight up I remember pedaling girls around the neighborhood on my only two back pegs <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a trip we seen that and we're confused as fuck and then we started doing wall rides and shit riding street more and because we saw it in like I don't know what video at that time probably a props what was the first trick you learned? no footers yeah, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Over a little dirt jump thing. All right. It was like an accident, and then I was like, oh, shit. Hell yeah. I put my feet back on. Yeah, no Whoa. Footer. <laughs> I still can't really no footer well, dude. I learned how to 180 and manual, and that's it. I never can't take my hands or feet off my bike yeah, in the least bit. Different eras of riding. Yeah. Man. I remember like riding with little homies that were doing jumping out of little baby dirt jumps, doing like no handers, no footers, and shit, and just like, oh, that looks fun. Yeah. I'm too scared. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm still not very good at dirt jumping. Like, that shit's scary as fuck to yeah. me. 
But I learned a lot of control, even though I don't have that much bike control. I learned some from dirt jumping. Yeah. I really wish, like, I was into racing as a kid just for that bike control, man. We'd be the best. <laughs> yeah. You already right. know how many good. Got that Tammy and LaShawn bike control going you can on. do anything. Yeah, that's wild. All right, let's see. When did you meet uh, Robbie and Zuka? Because that's who I associate you with. How did, how did we meet? Because I can't uh, remember. This is a Goodyear? recurring theme, dude. I don't remember how I know anybody. I remember the first time I saw you was at Goodyear. Okay. And that was the first time I seen a lot of people. Cause yeah. We were at that time, probably like 22, when Goodyear was around. Yeah. I, I was at least 22. Because it had just opened, and like I would make the trek out there, I think with Cleon, mm-hmm. and just ride Goodyear Skate Park, and then... That's where I, like, I remember, maybe, yeah, I remember, like, seeing you or meeting you. I remember, like, Casey Badger would be there and, like, Dane from yeah. Glendale. Dane would do, like, just a random Smith grind, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's so sick. <laughs> that's street. He's so cool. Dane's <clears throat> a homie. And then you guys, like, lived out there at a party house or what? Yeah, we had a house in the same neighborhood that Glendale or Goodyear was in. And we had, like... Before the skate park or after? We lived there before the skate park. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, and the shit just happened yeah. open at the other end of our neighborhood. Like, we had... It was me, Zuko, Robbie, and the homie Victor all lived together. Victor used to ride. Mm-hmm. At that time, at that house, he didn't ride anymore. He still had a bike, but he mm-hmm. didn't really ride. He I was still Victor. a homie. Um, but we would... Well, there's a... I don't remember the name of the song. It's the song that's in... You remember the Low Tech mixtape? Yeah. Like, the very first song. Yeah. Yeah. We had that on a CD. We would play it leaving our house. Started as soon as we pull in the Goodyear, it would end. Like that's Sick. how close we were. Wow. And that was like we get all hyped and shit. Yeah. And I mean, and then dude, that video, man. Yeah. That changed. I remember video Google was how I would watch. I would be in I used computer to watch that lab. Shit too. Yeah. Um, and they had low tech mixtape. Low tech Mosh, Vancouver. So yeah. Watch the there. freestyle. It was so sick. Those are the ones that I watched on repeat in high school for yeah. sure. Mosh. Mosh was fucking tight. You were 22 at Goodyear. How old are you now? About to be 35. Oh, shit. Damn, that's a long time ago. Mm-hmm. I met you 13 <laughs> years ago, man. That's wild. Yeah, like, this, doing this shit is so crazy. Like, actually trying to remember my life. It's fucking... Yeah. I can't. <laughs> it's really it's hard, but it's cool. Yeah. Out. I'm toast. I can bro. remember a lot of shit. <laughs> it just depends on, like, yep. the event. Yeah, there's, like, a very specific, weird glimpses into memories I'll, like somebody will say remember when we were doing this and i was like no but i remember laying on my back and looking at the ceiling at this one point in time or some <laughs> shit space <enough. laughs> yeah i remember i got fucking you remember how it was a trial period for us at goodyear right like bikes yeah yeah and the, the whole thing was like plastic pegs or mm-hmm. no pegs yeah. and we you know didn't have them obviously and we're one night we were leaving and the cops come fucking 30 bike riders leaving skate park because it was closing time these fucking cops come to me out of everybody they're like hey come here <laughs> and at this point in my life i was pretty fucking reckless i didn't give a shit about anything like yeah. i mean i did but i was like it, whatever anybody could get it at that time and he was like come here and i'm like what he's like why you got metal pegs on your bike i'm like because i only have metal pegs he's like well you can't have them here i'm like Dude, look at everyone else here. Yeah. Why the fuck are you talking to me? Because you're black, man. <laughs> in yeah. fucking Litchfield. But he's like, and he was he was fucking timid. So I was like, made me even like more like, yo, yeah. fuck you. And he's like, can't ride pegs here. I'm like, me not riding pegs, like Michael Jordan, not Duncan. <laughs> and like everybody laughed at him. So then he got like, tried to grab me and I fucking yanked my arm. Like, yo, get the. F-. Yeah. And I'm this whole time, I'm like putting my bike in my car. I'm leaving. Like, yeah. I'm not sticking around to talk to this motherfucker. And he's like, all right, come, you can't come back anymore. You're trespassed. Oh. And I was like, damn. Crushed. But I was yeah. like, I ain't showing that shit. I'm like, I'll be back tomorrow at 730. Fuck you. <laughs> and he's like, I'll be here to arrest you. Oh, shit. I didn't go back. Yeah. <laughs> A couple weeks later, I went back. Just low key. We all rode there. And like, I rode around and shit. But every time I saw a cop, I would duck off in yeah. the back. You're like, I ain't trying to go to jail. Man, that shit. sucks. But yeah, I got kicked out like a month before they kicked bikes out. Yeah. So and, all, all the homies would go at night just like we would go every fucking night. Yeah. But I couldn't go. <laughs> oh, man, dude. 
Did you see they like added a whole bunch of new shit? Have you been back lately? Yeah, and they took out my favorite thing there. What was your favorite thing? The boob thing. Oh shit, they took that out? Yeah, they like leveled it off and then like made it, I don't know, like three sides to it, but it's they chopped it in half. Whack. It's fucked up. I love that. That thing. boob was cool, man. Shit was yeah. tight. And then that spine was weirdly awesome. Like, I don't know why, yeah. but the it doesn't have coping. It's just like cement spines. That, that, I really want to go back there. I haven't been in so I've, I've gone back a couple of times. It's all good. They don't even give a shit. No yeah. one's there. Yeah. The, like, the grind box that I remember is totally different now, I think. It's like lower yeah, and longer. So there's, shit. Steps. there's three stages to it now. Yeah. They put another rail, like a flat rail, flattened down rail, and took out the boob. And I think that's it can't take out the boob man yeah that boob at woodward was like almost the exact same one yeah. as that one but woodward was tight man that shit was sick so we gotta hit this thing every 30 minutes we got four minutes left right. four and a half minutes left until a half hour's gone by yeah quick with it we're gonna be here for a minute so we went up to goodyear i, I don't even think i honestly met you at goodyear i just remember seeing yeah. you at goodyear I don't remember the first time we talked. Cause I remember seeing, that was when I saw a bunch of kids I've never seen before. It was mm-hmm. that good year. We were like, who the fuck are all these kids? Like you, Cleon, I can't remember anybody else, but it was a lot. Like the whole, <coughs> I don't know what happened. Just a whole new wave of riders. I remember specifically this peg leg edit with you, Zuka and Robbie, and you do a ice to Smith on the Southern ledge. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, RIP to that spot. Yep. I, I just remember seeing footage of you a lot before I think ever really kicking it or talking. Maybe we wound up at like parties together or something. We got to figure this out, man. That, that you're talking about was way after. Way after year. we met. Yeah. Um, when the fuck? It had to have been. I don't know. I, can't <laughs> tell you. I don't even know why. I'm trying to think of that one. I don't know either, man. Hey, at least we met, though, you know Yeah, saying? we filmed a... Uh, oh, fuck. What the hell? What did you do? Didn't you do something? Like, you film an edit? We filmed a blunted video. Oh, well, no, before that. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> what did you... Glendale Park, maybe, is where we met? I met a Could lot of people. Could have been at Glendale. Yeah. yeah. That shit was... I think that's where I met Troy. That's where I met Dean. Dean told me that I... That the first thing I said to him was... I'm gonna make some money off you guys, and I was, he was sitting with the twins, and I was being like funny guy, but I was gonna make an edit of them and sell it to like Vital mm. and ESPN. You guys are gonna make me money, man. Give me pay. <coughs> young, young <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get rich off this BMX game real quick. I remember me and, uh, I hit Frank once, like, yo, you wanna make some bread? He's like, yeah, let's do it. It was like, I had to make a Vital edit for Mirko or some shit. He's like, let's do it. There we go, how'd you get on Mirko? That edit you're talking about that you brought up, the peg leg one. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Devin came to film. Devin would come every year mm-hmm. for shit, I don't even know, like four years. At that point, I think it was the fourth or fifth year. He'd come every year, stay with me. The first year he came, he stayed with Chad. How'd you, how'd you meet Devin? Uh, I forgot. I think it was Butcher had a website. Cause he had a brand called Random, okay. And on his website, he had a message board. Okay. And at that point, I was on like 20 inch NYC message board, and Butchers, just because of Butchers, my fucking idol. So yeah. Uh, Devin used to post his videos on there, and I would watch them. Mm-hmm. This was before like web edits were really a thing, and he he would ride to his brother's music. Molecules, his name is fucking sick ass rapper. So I hit up Devin. Or how the fuck did I do it? Yeah, I hit a... It's from the message board. Yeah, like, That's yo, tight. who are you writing to? Like, who's this music? I yeah. never heard it before. And he sent me his brother's email. So I emailed his brother, like, yo, heard your shit from this writing video. He's like, oh, that's my little brother. I'm like, oh, shit. How can we get your music? And he's like, oh, I got a CD I just put out. So I, he sent me, like, fucking 10 of them. Sick. I gave him the Zuka Robbie, like, yeah. yo, yo, this shit's sick. I wish I still had them. They're so fucking tight. That is tight. Molecule, I think it was called Audible Imagery or something. Uh, then we just got to talking, and he's like, you ride, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, let me see some shit or whatever. And I sent him some photos I had or something. And just off the strength of that, he's like, I'm starting a company with my brother. 
you want to be a part of it i'm like sick all right like, i don't even know what this yeah. is but all right cool so me and Devin start talking more we become friends he sends me oh and also i'm like yo my homie zuka though like you need to get him mm-hmm. on too and he's like all right yep. and me and zuka live together at this point pause i was like what that wasn't gay we... resume all right yeah uh so he sends me and Zuka shirts, mm-hmm. and we were fucking hyped. Our first free thing ever from riding, you know what I mean? I remember as soon as we got the shirts, I remember we went to Vans that night, wearing them like, fuck it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, repping. Didn't even know what the fuck we were doing. But we were hyped as fuck, and we are repping it to death. To death, so I got a peg like panda tattoo right there. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so anyway, Fast forward, Devin comes years and years, and he comes and we film that edit, and me, him, me, Robbie, and Zuka film that edit. Uh, I posted it on Facebook, just how you, you know, you post your edits for people to see mm-hmm. them or whatever. And fucking Nigel seen it. I don't know how on the odd, we were friends on Facebook, but you know, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. He saw it somehow on there, messaged me. I was like, yo, your edit, the edit was sick. Who do you write for? I saw it and was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Didn't even reply for like a week. Then I'm like, oh, yo, what's up? Thanks. Uh, I don't write for anybody. Just peg like, he's like, because I thought it was, I didn't think it was him. I thought it was some, you know. Yeah, yeah. It can't be real. And because I had said like, yo, Zuka's getting sponsored off this edit because mm-hmm. he fucking killed it. I think I told Robbie that. And he did eventually. He got on stereo right after I that, I just too. played the pegs to crank arm in my head off the, on that red rail at Central High. Dude, like, first second <clears attitude. throat> Yeah, of course. Um, but he did also get sponsored right after that. Yeah. But Nigel hit me up, whatever. I was like, yo, I don't ride for anybody, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, you, you want to get down with Miracle? And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, dude. Like, fuck yeah. it. He's on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's Dave Mirror's company, so, like pretty fucking epic Fuck, yeah. yeah but he's like all right are you gonna go to this you're gonna go to that you're gonna go to interbike i'm like i'm going to interbike he's like i'll meet you at interbike and we'll, we'll meet yeah uh so we go to interbike that year what year is this i feel like i was involved i might have been 2009 yeah interbike hell yeah yeah in vegas one of the best i feel like that that, that era of interbike, interbike. Was interbike. that shit. was at yeah. the palms yeah that shit was Ooh-wee. And at this point <laughs> Robbie didn't go none of the other homies went it was like me and Serge and Freddie and I forgot who else Los lived out there already after that year I told Robbie them like yo y'all niggas gotta go to Interbike this yeah. shit is fucking tight Nora Cups is shit yep but uh whatever met him there met him met Ralphie there and we just chopped it up like didn't even really talk about Miracle at all we yeah. just met it met you know what I'm saying like kicked it with them party with them like one night we were at Hard Rock and we were full fucking partying, tank tops, snapback hats, you know, just bullshit, hot weather Vegas party. And these fools are like dressed up going clubbing. And we meet them and they're like, they look at us and they're like, what's up, what's up? you guys wanna go to this club? And we're like, we're tank tops and shit's like, Shh, don't worry about that shit. We walk in the VIP and just walk right in the cl- fucking club in, the, in Hard Rock. Shit was Hell yeah. crazy. With Nigel. We're, me and Serge in there, and everyone else is suited up. We're fucking, <laughs> we're in there partying, though. Shit was tight. But it's tight. After that, like, nothing happened, really. Just uh, chocolate frame? Well, then they came for a shop stop. Like, Nigel, Miracle came. Nigel and Ralphie and the Miracle, like, people behind the scenes, mm-hmm. like, the sales dudes and shit, they came three shop stops was Drew involved at this point too nah this was after Drew was okay. on it um this they did a, sh- a, a stop at I think Rage was a bike shop and then yep. two really far ones in like Apache Junction so I went to the first one at Rage rode a little bit like Nigel was announcing Ralphie was riding cause Ralphie was on Miracle at that time but it wasn't like a they didn't announce it or nothing but yeah uh, then the next day I went to the one way out east and just kicked it watched it Johnny Harnish was at that one Sick. funny shit funny story about that. Johnny Harnish was like a best trick and they had like a little ass like three foot spine mm-hmm. 
and there was a girl there riding. I just was specifically remember her because she like jumped the spine or 180 did or something crazy, and Johnny Harnish flared it, and it was like best trick. Yeah. And like Johnny and the girl were sitting next to each other, and Nigel's like, "Damn, best trick!" And he walks over to him. And he's like, to this girl right here. <laughs> Yo, I was dying <laughs> laughing. It was like a hundred bucks or some shit. Yeah, holy shit. Shit was so funny. Sight. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, like, Miracle Dudes dipped out and left Nigel and Ralphie with us. Like, oh, are you guys going to get to the airport? We're out. And they drove back to San Diego and Nigel and Ralphie kicked it with us. Okay. We went to Bill's house, Mouse's house. Kicked it there for a little while. Party some. Nigel... Being Nigel was like, yo, I need, to get, you know, I need to call some girl. Some girl mm-hmm. comes and picks him up. So Ralphie stays with us. We party, kick it. Then I take him to the airport. Nigel gets dropped off by the chick. Some grown-ass woman. Nice. Good, yeah, he's good living. for Nigel. He was living back then, yeah. too. Though. But and they dip out. Before they dipped, the Miracle dudes like, got all my info and shit. The next day was a Monday. Or... Yeah, because that was a Sunday. The first one was on Saturday. Next day, they text me. The homie Lenny. Yo, what size frame you want? You looked on the website. Tell me everything you want. I'm like, what the fuck? You serious? Yeah. And went and looked at the shit, told him what I wanted. And like two days later, full bike. I'm like, what the fuck? Hell yeah. I didn't even put it together. Like, I went on a trip to Albuquerque like two days or the next weekend. So I got everything, say, Wednesday. I was going to Albuquerque Saturday. Yeah. I didn't even put the bikes together. Yeah, I just, just had, like, the shirts and it, shit yeah. and, like, <laughs> went to Albuquerque, uh, whatever, rode there, and then came back and, you know, put it together. It was like, holy shit. Did you get to do, like, any Miracle trips or anything after that? Mm, I did not official Miracle trips. Once I got on, it was weird, man. I realized uh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like, not even... I would say this was like the least BMX team thing mm-hmm. compared to any company I could think of. Like the team was spread the fuck out. Uh, it was a weird ragtag assembly of like different type of riders and yeah, shit. Me and yeah. Nigel were the only street riders. Yeah. And then there was uh, Lenny. He got on. Lenny's a homie. Um. I can't even remember these fucking dudes' names. I remember Chris, Chris Hughes was one of them. I did not fucking like that dude. Yeah, I couldn't... I felt guilty earlier, like, with Chadwick. I couldn't remember who was on GT when I was on it, like, the GT project. I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> park hard to remember. Too, yeah. yeah, they were all park. And they obviously didn't... I don't know. They, they had, like, a contest team, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So them going on trips was them going to a contest. Then, uh... They would do shop stops is basically what Miracle would do. Basically to keep the Trek dealers happy to sell their shit stuff. Yeah. So there was like one opportunity to go on a shop stop. They did the same ones every year. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'll go with you guys. Like, what do we, how's it going to work? Do I, you guys give me a ticket? Do I drive out? You guys pay me for gas? And then he's like, oh no, we take care of ourselves on these trips. Like you come out, <laughs> you pay for yourself to come, pay for your, all this. And I'm like, Cool. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never been on a team, but I know this ain't how team trips work. Yeah. Okay, like, I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool on that. Yeah, at least gas money, man. And then me and Robbie and Zuka took a trip out there uh, just on our own. But we mm-hmm. stayed with Lenny. He had some fucking mansion. Shit was tight. Damn. But, uh, yeah, we did that. That was as close to a trip, I could say. Like, we went to Carlsbad is where they stayed. And that's where the warehouse was. And we just rode around San Diego, Carlsbad, filmed, went to the market ramps and shit. Didn't ride them. They're crazy. Yeah. Um, Dennis's backyard, right? Yeah. yeah. It looks nuts. It's I've nuts. never seen it in person. At that time, I had met them because they came out here to film for market and we showed them some shit. So that was cool going out there and kicking it with Lenny and seeing the warehouse and like uh, just kicking it. You know what I'm Do you take like, those market dudes to the ditch that uh, Ronnie 720 that was on a different trip. That was on a Haro trip. trip. I took them there. Oh, uh, okay. But on the market one, I don't know if you remember Dennis's clips. It's like 35th Ave and Thomas is a loading dock spot with a flat rail. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took yeah. them to that shit. Is that still, is no, that spot still going? Damn. Yeah. yeah. 
I think about that spot like every couple of months. Like, is that going still? It's we, a really cool spot. That was the first time I seen anyone like that ride in person. And yeah. that full 180 bar over the flat rail is probably like three feet high. Yeah. And the drop is like seven yeah. feet tall. It's he insane. did that. Just casually. Not filming. Yeah. Just chilling. <laughs> to warm up for the three over it. I'm yeah. Like, what the fuck? Wow. But yeah, uh, Miracle shit was tight. We partied with them a lot. Like the first day we went out there. We went to the warehouse. Like we went to Lenny's, dropped our shit off, went to the warehouse. They all clocked out early. I thought Dave Mirror was gonna be there and shit. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh no, nah, Dave don't show up that much anymore. At this point, he wasn't even a part of it, and I didn't yeah. even know that. But you know, I'm all like, damn, but see fucking Dave Mirror. For real. Nah, it didn't happen. But yeah, they clock out early. We go party the whole fucking day. And they were just As with it. Should. They were yeah. tight. They were all sick. Hell yeah. I've missed those. Days. And then it like, what happened with Mirko? It kind of went out of business or is it still going? What well, is- they, after Nigel quit, he quit right after. I would say like, uh, pretty soon. I can't remember. He quit not too long after I got on. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I was like, yo, he's like, yeah, I quit. I'm like, damn. All right, whatever. Does he have a bike sponsor now? Nah. He had his own shit going, but I don't, I don't know what happened. Nigel Co. Nah, <laughs> the Brooklyn Project shit. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, he quit, and I didn't really know where I stood or whatever. And then they were like, "Oh no, we're still going with you. It's all good." I'm like, "Oh shit, cool." And then, in that, in between time, meantime, I got on blunted, and I was like, "Yo, I'm getting on blunted." And Lenny lived in Carlsbad, so he knew about it because they're San Diego or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he's like, oh, that's cool. And then I told him, I don't know what happened, but I basically got the text I was going to put on the pro team. The day of Ike's wedding, they told me I was going to be pro on Miracle. And I was like, Say. what? I don't even know what the fuck this means. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I'm with it. Let's I like do the it. sound of that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we'll talk about it Monday or whatever. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Cool. Shit goes by. We're like, all right, chocolate frame's done because Nigel's gone. They're like, mm, you want to do a frame? I'm like, hell yeah, I'll Damn, do a I frame, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. So I named it, designed it. What'd you name it? Clips. Tight. Like, from the rap group Clips. Yeah. Um, I still had the frame, too. But uh, everything came out how I wanted it except two things. They fucking, the head tube, they laser cut out the Miracle emblem. So it was like, like an Eastern, you know what I'm saying, yeah. cut out. And then they had some genius idea to reinvent the wheel with the brake mounts. So they put holes in the seat stays hmm. to where the 990 mounts were like, I don't know how to explain it. Like they, you have to put them in there yeah. if you want the brakes. If you don't want them, you just have two fucking holes in your chain stay, seat stays. And that shit snaps. Like, yeah. So yeah, once I got the frame and I saw that, I was like, what the f- <laughs> I didn't, you had one job. I didn't, I didn't ask for this shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't know whose idea it was, but that was so a then big like, mistake on their end. Did you tell them? Like, I mean, like, it's like they already, they were the type, they didn't do a prototype frame. They yeah. were like, oh, this is what we want. They'd make a whole run of it. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. that's why you see they're not around anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they would do shit like that. That's a, that's a lot. Yeah, so that happened. I remember Chris Brockamane was on the team at that point. He broke his. Like at right there. Yeah. I broke mine right there. I didn't even know it was broken. I knew it after I quit the team because we're on, I was on pro. I'm like, all right, so do I get like any travel? Do I get a check? Do I get like, what's the deal? They're like, oh, it's basically the same thing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so you want me to do all this? And they want me to do vital edits. I fucking hated vital. Yeah. And it's corny as fuck, like doing a bike check and like you're watching vital. Like, fuck all that. So I'm like, you want me to do all this shit that I don't want to do for free? Yeah. Nah, I'm good. I'll, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, like, and Nick Benson's my homie. He's been my boy forever. He got me on Animal, and then I was like, yo, I'm gonna think I'm gonna quit Miracle, and he's like, I got you on Scavenger. I'm like, you, ser- you serious? And he's yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, Sick. Hit him up, like, yo. And this was the new. I'm like, all right, well, let me wait till the year comes. Maybe the new year, you know, contract shit. Even yeah. though it wasn't ever a contract. Like, all right, so what's this year? Do we move forward? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, basically, what did he say? We could offer you 
status quo or some shit or we can offer you status quo and that the same as what it yeah. was yeah what a fancy way of as saying this year, fuck as last you. year yeah i had to motherfucking uh, signature right. frame did you get like percentage or anything on yeah, that nothing dude god I got, I got uh one i got one trip out of them to denver i don't even want to say got it out of them yeah i got a trip from them i was on their pro team I'm like yeah i'm gonna go film a part or something yeah I'm like, I want to go to Denver, though, because Dustin mm-hmm. Arp lives there. I'm like, it's my first time going to Denver. I'm like, yo, tickets are like 190 bucks round trip. And dude was like, oh, I don't know. We got the budget for that. <laughs> no, I asked him for the ticket first. And then I'm like, yeah. I looked at him. I'm like, yo, it's 190 bucks. He's like, all right, I'll do it. Whatever. I'm like, it was Fine. pulling fucking teeth. Pro, you can have $200. I'm like, yo, go on a trip to film a part for your company. Yeah. Like, to promote it. To make it. They wanted me to help them with their image. That was like their exact words. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, we have to do this. Like, you can't. They paid Vital so much money for ads. Like, yeah. To do that corny shit, and that was their downfall. Like, they paid Vital. They should have paid their writers Mm -hmm. and did it all on their own. Like, a writer could film his own part. Mm -hmm. They don't need a Vital filmer to do it. So, that was part of their downfall. So, when they, you know, couldn't offer me anything and wanted me to do the shit, I wouldn't down with doing I was like yo I'm done I'm fucking out like fuck it I'll go ride for scavenger would rather ride for scavenger yeah, anyway you know what I mean so yeah did that end up happening scavenger yeah you still on a scavenger frame today huh no what do you want Call. oh yeah my bad fuck when did that happen get it together Bob. get it I am told you I'm fried bro uh well scavenger shit happened that happened right at the start of filming blunted DVD so that's not too long ago right four or five years the scavenger shit? No, the, yeah. Like, well, I got, starting filming for Blunted must have been... Well, I got on Blunted and Miracle, like, around the same time. No, I, I filmed the Miracle Welcome Edit. LaShawn seen that and put me on Blunted. In Vegas, actually. He's like, yo, you want me on Blunted? I'm like, shit, all right, let's do it. So that happened. It's a couple years later, we started filming for the video. I quit Miracle. So the whole blunted thing of riding scavengers, like the whole video. Uh, scavenger ended, and I'm still riding the old scavenger frame. Like, it's whatever, I'll just ride this shit. It's still scavenger and whatever. Yeah. Didn't really give a shit. Didn't expect to ever get a hookup again besides Animal. And scavenger was cool sh- as fuck. Tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, I like shit. It was like. Who so ran it? Who started Vinny, scavenger? Vinny and Edwin. That's why it was cool, man. man <laughs> That's the shit. Their shit. I wrote the Vinny frame. Um, and then I wrote Tom White's frame, which was the best frame I ever had. And the fucking airline destroyed it somehow. What came first, the BMX brand scavenger or like the video? Because like the Bob Sherbo made like scavenger the videos, video. right? Yeah. Because they were like just a clothing company at first. Yeah. And then they all left fit to start scavenger. That's tight. That's really cool, man. Hell yeah. Hustlers, like you got to start your own shit. Mm-hmm. And then, all right, so then... So after a blunted video comes out at, at Nora Cup. Yeah, in Vegas, right? Robbie's there, Rob, my Morales, Nick Benson, you know, they all, the cult dudes see it. The next week, Nick texts me, he's like, what are you riding? I'm like, I'm still riding the scavenger. Because Nick Benson left Animal to go to Colt, like their sales rep. Um, he's like, yeah, were you still riding the scavenger? I'm like, yeah, I'm still riding scavenger. And he's like... Let's you want, you on you want to ride a colt, or would you ride a colt, you and Robbie? Like talking about oh, Robbie yeah. Owen. I'm like, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Screenshot and send it to Robbie, and he's like, oh hell yeah, that's tight. And then he's like, wait, what? Me too? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker, you too, dude. Hell yeah, let's do this. Hell yeah. So shit. That and that's was... Robbie's first free bike. No, right? no, he was on the set. He got on oh the set. yeah. Well, I was his first sponsor. I gave him every everything <laughs> yeah. I had. He had my first first miracle kit. I got a new one. Gave him that one, dude. Like, that's the shit. I eat everybody. There's does. a trickle down economy dude. in BMX with the sponsorship. Zuka stuff, was dude. sponsored already, so he had his whole bike. I gave mm-hmm. Robbie his shit. Like, you know, we're all hooked up. Like, yeah. fuck this. That's tight. And then it's been Colt ever since, huh? Yeah. Do you like talk? You talk to Nick at Colt, or you talk to Rob? What? Ever? Uh, or like, you guys don't have to talk that much, huh? Nah. Uh, we I talked to Robbo and. I usually talk to Nick and or, or Joe V, and then like when we go there, obviously Robbie's there. We talk to him. Is Joe still working there? Joe V. Yeah. 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 I talked Sorry. to him the other day. Hell yeah. Um, shout yeah. out to Joe V. Yeah, Hi Joe, if you're watching, man. Shout out to all you fools. <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, Nick. Nick's a main dude just because it's easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't want to bug Robbie for shit that yeah his sales dudes handle. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be a fucking bugaboo. Like, hey Robbie, Ugh. hey man, you how's know? it going, dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you nah. got a minute to just chit chat? Nah. So I talk to Nick or Joe V, and uh, I talk to Robbie every once in a while. Like, he doesn't really. He's not tripping. Like, he's yeah. a fucking realist. He is the best, man. I like Ralph. He fully gets it. So does Ralph and Animal. Like, they both get it. Like, mm-hmm. they know what's real, and they respect it, and they don't they don't expect more from you. Like, they know... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they know you're older. They know you're fucking riding still, and they just want to back you. Like, mm-hmm. simple as that. You got to be no more politics no more difficult than that just they want to hook you up yeah. and they want you to rep and i'm like Tch. cult's got a lot of like people riding for them right like it's huge family team and then like the they have an am team and then do they got a lot of pro people. team yeah it's robbie like, is smart as fuck it's spread he knows what he's doing mm-hmm. is there anybody else um riding for cult in arizona robbie yeah besides you two Oh so. yeah, in Tucson, fucking Floyd. Floyd was original cult, like yeah. the first team. I remember they were filming for the first video. Let it talk. Let them talk. Yeah. We randomly, the same trip Devin came down here to film that peg leg edit. They were here filming that video, and we just rolled up to Deck Park, and they were all there. Sick. Yeah. We're like the fuck. The day Dakota did that crazy yeah. hanger. Shit. We rolled up yeah. right when he did the manual hanger. Nice. And we're like, what? Hell yeah. And Sexton was there with them. And like we met them all, like I was like, mm-hmm. oh, what's up? And Robbo knew who me and Devin were somehow. I'm like, how the fuck does Robbie know? Who everybody <laughs> yeah. is? Dude, he did that to me at Interbike. Um, like one of the first Interbikes I ever went to, maybe 2008. I remember like two distinct things. I, I met Chad Shackelford. Damn. And I went up to him, fanboyed out, like, oh my god, I was in your video. Like we <laughs> we submit. I had a 540 cab in the credits. And he was like, yeah, cool. And then bumped into Robbie. And it took him a second. I think, like, Joe V was next to him and, like, maybe probably told him in his ear after. But then when I walked past him again, he was like, Canode, from Arizona? Free coaster guy? Keep it up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I never fucking forgot that. Just that little thing, dude. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he knows who that I am. must be on Colt. <laughs> shit. It's going That's down. shit, man. That, I don't even know if Colt was a thing in 2008 or whatever. But no, I don't think it was. I think that was right. That, no, that was right at that it. breaking point, yeah. like fit. I think the next into, year is when it all went down. It's so crazy, and then like, I don't know. I always thought that fit was like a East Coast based brand really? for some reason. Yeah, like in my head when they did the fit breakup, I was like, oh dang. And then Colt is like now the West Coast thing, but fit. I was always West Coast. I just didn't didn't know anything. I didn't know that shit was part of S and M for yeah. I think until that split. Yeah. <laughs> It's I didn't know anything like that. Basically, just like three big buildings, and then six or seven companies that are run out of those three, like Tip Plus, and then Sparkies, and then Cult is like, what is Cult? What do you mean? Do they have their own building yeah. or like? They have their own little warehouse. And then yeah, like I don't know anything else. There's the Fit S and M, Tip Plus, and then Cult, and then Sparkies. That's. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's weird learning how, like, the industry is so fucking small. It's tiny. <clears throat> when you're out of it, you fucking think it's, yeah. like, the biggest shit in the world. You're yeah. Like, Holy and fuck. all these, like, dreams of, like, I could start my own BMX brand. And it's like, you don't want to, man. You're just going like, to throw your I, money the, away. I feel like the competition, like, everybody, it's all, like, fun and games until it comes to, like, competition. And you're, like, bidding on, like, frames from... Type wherever yeah exactly and it's like, just no fucking, we got this frame the other yeah. company's like we already got well, it we got it too you yeah, know? Yeah. everybody's selling the same shit with just different stickers on it different. I don't think that's true but <clears throat> no there's some difference but I know what you mean like mm-hmm. when I think about like how many different bike companies there are how many frames there are it's like holy shit there's a lot of fucking frames all of them are like within millimeters difference but mm-hmm. people fucking flat flock to each one you know what I'm yeah. saying it's like it's crazy the trend right now with that scooter style back end just like where you <sighs> loop out just instantaneously cause everyone wants to ride flatland now mm-hmm. that's pretty much what it's turning it's into poppy poppy seeds alright let's pause again real quick alright and we're back from commercial break yeah. shout out to our sponsors <laughs> Wild Turkey <laughs> and QT. Can't believe I landed such a huge gas station sponsor this early. You got it made. Mm-hmm. Free gas. 
Yep. Yep. Free gas and free iced tea. That's what I'm talking about. Sponsored by Wifey. <laughs> What's up? Is it? All right. How do we feel about BMX in general right now? Mm. I feel like there's multiple sides to it as far as like the fucking big pro side and then the people like the underground side you know what I mean like yeah I feel like there's two sides yeah <laughs> underground well I feel like there's more than two sides more sure. underground well yeah there's more than two sides but like what I'm thinking about is obviously the pro rider shit is the top tier shit which like name a few like Ty Morrow yeah fucking Nathan Williams shit like yeah don't get much better than that. Dennis Anderson. In my eyes. Yeah. Dakota, all those yeah. guys. Yeah. Obvious top tier motherfuckers. Like, yeah. Who are ridiculously good. Yeah. Do I feel like they ride. Juggernauts. All right, yeah. we'll call that the juggernaut realm. They ride amazing. Choose yeah. tricks, spots, fucking. Don't choose tricks. That's the biggest thing, I feel like. They don't do certain things. Yeah. And that's what makes. Well, it, it, you who like, you are. I feel like you get to a point where you can do everything and then it becomes an art where you get to just paint with like yeah. your, your tricks like Simone exactly um then I feel like there's a I don't know dude like a level beneath it that I watch the videos and it's pretty funny it's like they have a checklist of fucking like alright I gotta do an ice hard I gotta do a I gotta do a fucking uh something to show I can do a free coaster trick like yep. a fucking I gotta do this, gotta do that. It's all the same shit. I'm like, dude. It's like, why? Yeah. Like, you could. You're obviously good, mm -hmm. but you could. <laughs> Explain it's what's going on over there. Who is that? It's dinner time for, for Valen, my daughter. How old's Valen? One. Nice. Just turned one. Oh, yeah, mate. That's a fun age. <laughs> I remember when my little one was one. <laughs> yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> She's a character. I'm sure she'll be yelling more. Has she? What was her first word? Mama. Mama. And then dada. Nice. And then dogs. Hell yeah. Now she doesn't even say dog. I anymore. think she was pointing at my coffee earlier and was like, "Oh, wa wa." Yeah. She, she <laughs> thinks anything that's in a cup is water. That's awesome. Yeah. Then there's you know the tier where people just do whatever they think they're supposed to do to become pro writer trick wise. Like you can see it in every edit almost is fucking same. Mm -hmm. And then there's the underground. I feel like. Like chocolate truck dudes, man. Yeah. Fucking act like you know dudes. Like, I feel like they get, they get it. They get street riding. Yeah. It's the type of shit I like to see. Even though like the top tier dudes are the best fucking writers, I feel like the underground. It's nothing better than that. Yeah, I agree. Like the just like spots that are. It's more relatable, honestly, to watch. Like mm -hmm. the ninety East new mixtape or whatever that came out was awesome. Mm -hmm. That got me more motivated to ride than like. The Van Shimmer thing. The Van Shimmer is yeah. just like so untouchable. It's like holy shit. <clears throat> like <laughs> I can't wild. relate to that at all. But you see like somebody just hopping into a storm door, and it's like that seems awesome. I do want to go do that. You know, yeah. it's gets you more hyped to ride, and it opens your eyes when you're riding. Yeah. Like oh man, I could fucking figure out something different yeah. to do here instead of fucking ice hard down this rail or ice yeah. 180 on this ledge. Something yeah. that. Every fucking kid thinks they need to do now in their edits. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I I work at a desk, so I watch BMX all fucking day. Yeah. And I watch it all, and I'm like, ninety percent of it's the same shit. Mm -hmm. Same shit, different spots. Mm -hmm. And then there's a ten percent, the five percent who's a pros, who are fucking killing it. And then there's the five percent that's the underground. Yeah. And it's like, I fucking love that shit. Yeah. How many full parts do you think you've filmed? Uh, do you count web videos as yeah. full parts? Uh, uh, Miracle one. The Welcome to, I think that was the first solo edit I ever did. And it was whatever. It wasn't that great. It was really short. And we just threw it together. And then the blunted one, me and you filmed. Mm -hmm. I think that was the first one I actually took some time. And did we use 
Big L? No, you used Joey Badass. Yeah. And... Big L was Zuka. Yeah. Okay. Um... Mm-hmm. And Blonded DVD. Okay. And then Animal Edit. And I feel like I'm missing something. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And then are you sure this is going to be your last one? Yeah. For yeah. sure. For sure. Sick. I mean, I don't want it to be, but also, I don't know. It's... I don't know. This one's going really easy right now. Yeah. So I feel like having you was like a fucking filmer. It's like, all right, I, can, I know what I'm going to do. Let's go do it. Yeah. When you have that, I feel like it's easier to do. Yeah. It's so much nicer than having it the other way where it's like sloppy or you would, don't have a filmer or like, it comes let's just together. go figure it. Yeah. I like having a mission. Like we, it's the summertime. So we're going out at like 7 a.m. Or yeah. you guys are, and then I'm sleeping in and shutting <laughs> up at 8.30. <laughs> that only happened once. Yeah. It came out good the other times. Uh, and yeah, just having like a place to meet and it's the best way to do it, I think. Yeah, you get, you go there, you don't, you don't go ride around and then go do something you want yeah. to do. Like you just go straight to it and fucking warm up trying it. Like, yeah, that's, exactly. That's the type of shit I'm on right now. Yeah. Like, I just want to get... I like that. Mission, Everything though. I can done for this video. It's I would like I remember learning that to, I ever I was young, I didn't understand like how filming worked and I like I hit up Buster O'Shea. I was like, "Will you film me?" and thinking in my head like he would take me to a spot or something mm. and he was like, "Yeah, sure. Uh what trick, what spot?" And I was like, "Oh." Yeah. And so I like called out something way out of my league, like a crazy nose mail to drop at the 59th and Thunderbird area, Greenway, I forget which one it was, but there wasn't a railing in the way at this point, and it was a, just like, I'd have to go fast, nose mail, this like, curb, and then, so I like, got him to meet me there, and like, showed up, and then I pushed out of it, and I was like, I'm never, I'm never gonna get to film with Buster. Ever. That happened with me with Chadwick back in the day. Yeah? I didn't know what the fuck to do, filming-wise, just same exact shit. And I think it was for that Shook, for Shook. Or, yeah, Shook. Mm -hmm. And he's like, all right, where do you want to go? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me, film he's her. like, we want to go to the wedge? I'm like, all right, I don't know what the fuck yeah. I'm going to do there. And then didn't do anything. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. Like, you really got to have your head on and like know what you're going to do. Yeah. Unless you're like fucking Zuka to film anything anywhere. Yeah. Like, that's, I wouldn't like that at all. Yeah, me neither. But I learned quick, like, yo, you got to know what you're going to go do. Mm-hmm. Or least, if you just go to beginning, yeah, yeah. Or if you just go to a spot that has a bunch of shit and you yeah. find something you could do there. Figure like, something out. I can't go to like the wedge and get a clip, even though me and you was be if we go back to be a third time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what to fucking do. <laughs> it's a hard place. You gotta be really good, and I'm not. I'm a set up writer, not a yeah. I would backwards manual it, but that's, uh, that's that's uh, that's so fucking ten years ago, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bauman backwards manualed it. And I did it lengthwise, and then Matt Ray just comes and bar spins into it and tail whips out of it. Jesus. See, that shit's on a whole nother level. Yeah, man. Matt Ray is something else. Uh, so kid number two is on the way, man. Yeah. Talk to me, huh? Well, you excited? No, 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 more, no, no more to say about it. Just number two is coming. Yeah. She'll be here September. It's Fuck. Another one of That's those. like two months away, huh? Yeah, almost. Is it the end of July end of, right now? End yeah. of September, she'll be here. Boom. Yeah. You have a name? I think we're going with Ivy. Sick. Yeah. Fallon and Ivy. Yeah. All right. That's cool, man. I'm getting fixed ASAP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> snip, snip, man. Yeah, yeah. No more. Yeah, that's a good amount, too. Dude, fast forward, like, 16 years. <laughs> that's trippy, that. dude. You're going to have a... 17 and a 16 year old daughter. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck you, dad. <laughs> oh, hell no, never that. Oh, man. You gonna be a strict dad? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I'm not think gonna be. Nobody like, knows, I feel like. I'm not gonna be like overly strict to make them fucking rebel. Uh -huh. But I'm gonna know, they're gonna know what time it is. Yeah. You know, like. How do you. Alright, so somebody on Instagram earlier asked, how do you balance riding with being a dad go out at 6 a.m. on Sundays yeah <laughs> you go then, out on one day during the weekend like 8 o'clock at night yep 
That's pretty much it. Yeah. You that don't get to ride. Yeah. You don't get to ride as much, but you how do you say it? Make you, time for it. You you make time for it, but you also don't bullshit when you go ride. Mm -hmm. Like if you're gonna go ride, you go ride. That's why with you in this video is like a perfect it's a perfect fucking like fire under my ass to get a part done with you yeah for one i have a kid already two i'm gonna have another one mm -hmm. and time's limited so i'm just trying to every sunday go to a spot yeah get the clips i want to get or that i can get before it gets too hot and repeat yep. you know maybe get out at night sometime this week or during the week or something flagstaff sunday dude yeah still down sick. maybe maybe Send a fucking Drop all that money on the damn dog at the vet. Yeah. So, yeah. Unexpected shit. It's what always happened something. with the dog? I have no idea. Valley fever? They're supposed to call Too me hot? today with the results. Motherfuckers never call me. Let's see. Dog seemed all right. That's Thanks. what I'm give, saying, give right? Give me some love when I walked Too in. Hot, yeah. No. But he was limping right after that. Yeah. So hopefully tomorrow I'll find out. But no matter what, the money's already spent. So I'm like. <sighs> yeah, that sucks, dude. Hopefully it's that. Cause then they'll just be on some meds and it'll be all right. Yeah. But if not, then we gotta get X-rays and shit, and it's another four hundred dollars or something. How long? Are you, how old are the? They're both pit bulls, right? Yeah. That's fucking Seven awesome. and six. Seven and six year old pit bulls, dude. I actually do remember you were living downtown. Yeah, when I got you took yeah. the picture of me. Yeah. Yeah. She was so red. Six weeks old. This or fucking shit. big, dude. That's yeah. So sick. Now she's ninety fucking pounds. Yeah. That was a dope location for a house, man. Like oh, Seventh Ave and the Ten. Seventh Ave or Street? Seventh Ave. Yeah, that shit was tight, man. I liked Dude, it. I loved it there. Go ride mm -hmm. all day. I remember. I remember, like, I I'm going through old footage for Mediocre, and like, there was a clip of me on a couch. And I think it was that house with like Zuka, and I'm, like pretending to kiss him, and he's like, "Yo, what the fuck." Just holding the fish eye like this, dude. I, I, don't, I just got a flat. Maybe I'll find it and put it in here or some shit. But I, <laughs> really, I think it was in in that house. Was it a black leather couch? Maybe. Did you have two? Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever. What do you do for work? You work from home. Work for Cigna Healthcare. Do it. Bunch of shit on a computer. Uh, Excel it's, spreadsheets. No one would know. There is some Excel spreadsheets. Okay. Actually. See, you would know. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's a part of it. It's all health insurance shit. With the What's like, the uh, like job title? Uh, senior care associate. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's whatever. I'll move you into this program over here now. Any email correspondence? I'll see like fucking <laughs> people fucking need breast reduction and shit. I'll look at their picture and their tits are like to their fucking. <laughs> 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 shit is crazy. Like, yo. Yo, babe, look at these titties. Like, oh, <laughs> she needs a breast reduction for real. That shit is like two fucking meat flaps oh, hanging. No, like, oh, yeah, you, you might get approved for this. <laughs> yeah, you need that. I, you, you, you write a letter of recommendation for her. I, <laughs> look, listen, I looked at this picture of her titties. She needs this. She needs it. <laughs> she needs this bag. She needs it. But yeah, shit like that. Basically, like, looking at people's. Uh, clinical for their surgeries or anything like that like I'll sort it where it needs to go to a doctor or a nurse or that's one another part of it but yeah, yeah. basically all medical shit on the computer are you like clocked in online or whatever do you yeah. have to yeah it's but like it's to... um I can work as long as I work eight hours it doesn't matter yeah so I could fucking work for go fuck off for whatever and come back yeah. and as long as as long as I have 40 hours at the end of the week yeah don't matter how I get it nice so you could do 40 hours straight and then have the rest of the week off, huh? Technically. Technically, so yeah. You'd be a fucking psycho to do that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about your garden. Do you have a garden? No, though? I don't have a garden. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk I about gardening. I can't keep nothing alive. <laughs> Dude, they go so gardening. good and then they fucking die. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck Robbie does it. How do you feel about plastic pegs? <laughs> Who has that? Frank. Ditch Frank. Uh, I feel like they are, um, they're good for if you can't ride something with metal pigs. I feel like they should be used for that. That's it. Nice. 
What about before having to use the plastic paste? What was your opinion? <laughs> so we just got a clip not too long ago where metal pegs just weren't working and then I, we put my plastic pegs on one side of your bike and we are like, shh, don't tell, <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anybody. I pretty much had the same idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, at that first, it was like, the fuck, I'll never do that shit. It's yeah. whack. It's just too easy, whatever. I had the analogy like, fucking NBA players don't play basketball on a three foot goal. Like, yeah. It's too easy. Why the fuck? I like that analogy, man. It's the same. It's like, why yeah. would you do it? You just make it easier for yourself. But whatever. And now I feel like I don't really give a shit what people do. Yeah. But if you want to really know, I feel like it should only be used if you can't use metals. Like, yeah. You could still do everything with metal pegs. Well, that's also... And it sounds so much sicker in metal yeah. pegs, dude. But it's also it can go the same way as we used to be able to do everything when we had seven inch handlebars. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it really, I honestly really don't give a shit. Yeah, as you get older, the less you fucking care for yeah. sure. They're not for me unless I can't do something with metals. How to keep David Anderson official says how to keep riding as you get older. How do you sustain yourself? Um, you have to take care of yourself. Like eating healthy, yeah, very big part of it. Uh, stretching, working out. Yeah, you Checking. work out every day. Try to. Yeah, do you do the how many push-ups? I stopped doing push-ups. I gave myself tendonitis. No shit. Doing fucking three hundred a day. <laughs> oh goddamn. Yeah, now I can I do fifty a day, and I lift weights. Nice. But uh, and I have exercise bike. Stretch in the morning. Stretch at night. I stretch as needed, pretty much. Yeah. Like, sometimes if I'm laying on the floor with my baby, I'll just stretch while I'm on the yeah. floor. But I don't have a routine where I do it every day, every night. Yeah. Which I probably should, but... Right? I feel like I should, too. I want one. I want... A, like, people always talk about morning routines. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't have that. Yeah. Like, um, my morning routine lately, though, has been on point. I'd, like, wake up, go do apple cider vinegar, diluted in water, and then yeah, raw. i fuck with that. And then get on the road to go to work, and that's fucking... That feels good. And yeah. then as soon as I run out of raw, I'm just like, <laughs> Johnny, start hitting my up. Like, all right, I need that shit, man. <clears throat> and I yeah. stretch like when I got into the office today, and it does feel good. Yeah, yeah. I definitely stretch. So I feel like diet, exercise, off the bike. Yeah. Stretching. Big time. Drinking less, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, way less. That shit catches up with you pretty Fuck quick, it. man. I don't drink Saturday nights at all. If I'm going riding Sunday, yeah. not even like... Some Same. point. There's not I'll, a chance. I'll do sometimes, but yeah. I'm not like partying or nothing. Yeah. I can't believe like I would be on Sabrosa oh. trips and we'd all be drinking every night and then go out and like be yeah. just hung over out in the sun riding and like LaShawn was incredible, could be He's hung over as fuck and could get bangers. He got us on that and we like, were on blunted trips, we'd be fucking it's one in Tucson, we'd party. Yeah. And, and then it, get up and the go. next day is when he three that double set, his ender. I did the line or like a hop to two rails and then the switch ice. Yep. Robbie does the outlet Smith. All fucking hung over, huh? We were all fucking hung <laughs> Well, no, crazy. Robbie came that day. He came the next day. Yeah. But me, La, Tammy, Joey, we were fucking party the night before. I can't do that anymore. Not a second. I mean, I wasn't even fucking riding. I was filming and I was still like, I hate this. Yeah, like, there, ain't, there ain't a chance. Yeah, man. I, I remember that had like when around 22, 23, 24. <laughs> I wasn't doing shit writing wise. Like yeah. I would film it when Devin came to town. Yeah. Once a year or something. And the rest of the time, give me a forty. We'll ride. Well, just... we were just party. You know? Yeah. We'd ride, but we weren't thinking about filming parts. So we were just like, yeah. fuck it. Just for fun and boogie down. Yeah, yeah, I went through a long period of fucking drinking every night, and then there's no motivation to go ride the next day at all. Mm. I always had motivation, but. And then like beers my body at the skate park. Yeah. I can do that because yeah. you know, you chill at the skate park. I can't. Party. I'm pretty much all or nothing. I have to. I have to be party Bob or sober, riding, productive Bob. Yeah. I'm a, I guess I'm an alcoholic is what I'm getting at. I, I heard you say that on Lufa's little thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lufa's an alcoholic too. Shout out Lufa. Yes. All right. What was it that made him pick up a bike? We got that. Josh Bagar asked that. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Um, I heard the last Street Fighter was going to be the last. Misinformation or not? Annual question mark Ooh. from danger underscore too fast underscore Dave. That was the last one. Dude. That was the last one, huh? 
Yeah, I think you so. You son of a bitch. I think so. Come on, man. Dude, it's, it. it's fucking a headache. Yeah, right. You call a couple people, set up a flyer. Yeah, but you got to think meet. about, like, you got to figure out the spots that you could take a fucking 200 people to. <laughs> yeah. Or we're going to be able to ride more than 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, we fucking went to them all, like, every Street Fighter. I feel yeah. like every jam, if we go to the same spots, jam's mm-hmm. going to be played out. A little bit, but, like, you could recycle, maybe, from earlier Street Fighters. I think... The momentum is here, man. We gotta get another one. We gotta get it on the we record. We haven't done another. Doing another street fight. We only did one uptown one. That one was pretty tight. I don't know. Dude. Did we ride the like curved or the upside bent? down pyramid? Yeah, building? upside down pyramid. Yeah. yeah, that one was sick. It's the uptown showdown. It's insane how many people come to that jam, dude. And if you don't, if you guys don't do it, then somebody's got to do a jam. But I don't see it ever being as cool as the Street Fighter Jam. That's for sure. I remember one day, fucking Linwood and some other kid came up to me at Glendale. It's like, yeah, we're going to throw our own Street Fighter. I was like, called Street Fighter? Like, yeah. I'm like, excuse me? Good luck. Man. <laughs> the fuck? And Zuko yeah. was like, what they call that shit? Saved by the Bell or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> shit was so funny. I was like, yo, all right, go ahead, man. All right, so uh, yes or no on another Street Fighter? Maybe. All right, we'll take that. We'll see. Speaking of Zuka, have you? Uh, was somebody just said talk about Zuka? What are they? Who did it? Who said talk about Zuka? All right, real quick before Zuka, his favorite Van Damme movie. <laughs> That's Frank. <laughs> yeah, it's Frank. <laughs> Double Impact. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Best story from Blackville. That Frank also? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, best story from there? Frank came through with the heat. Uh, I don't even know what Blackville is. What is Blackville? It's a Chinese spot downtown. Okay. It's not even called Blackville. It's okay. called Lee Wins, but it's in the hood. And so it's Blackville. Uh, I don't know. That would be the first time I remember taking Robbie there. Just some hood shit. People were fucking arguing in the front. Because you it's basically a window, hole in the wall, and you, everyone stands out there waiting for their food. Mm-hmm. And it's in the hood, so you get hood characters, and shit was funny as hell to me. But people were arguing over some shit. I can't remember. It was so long ago, but I remember looking at Robbie, and he was like, what, they were like, what the fuck? Where am I? Like, I? Yo, it's all good. It's just <laughs> funny. And then I, I can't remember the details. I wish I could, but yeah. that was pretty wild. And then I went... I don't know, like last year at night. I haven't gone at night in a long time. And I pull up and there's like some young cats sitting there playing fucking Young Dro. Or no, they were playing Young Dolph, bumping Young Dolph. And two of them were walking around. They had fucking nines with 30, 30 round clips hanging out of their pockets. Oh, fuck. Just chilling, waiting on their food. Cool. Like, Blackville. Oh, yeah, my God. It. It's on 7th Avenue in uh, Pima. Yep. I it's don't know. Uh, Good ass food. I'll take yeah, you me. think? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, let's go right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Zuka. You want to talk about Zuka? We we talked about him a lot today. He's a fucking man, dude. He's fucking alive and kicking, man. He's the best fucking writer there ever was. Ever. We got. He could do anything. Literally everything. Yeah, he's he, pretty talented. The fucking biggest little man I've ever met. Like, me and him, fun fact, are the same height if we're standing on our knees. Oh, shit. Yeah, he has, like, short shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, he's oh, he's a fucking man. I remember you telling me some sort of story where you guys got in a fight or some shit. Give, yeah. me, a, give me one throwback Zuka story. Where me and him got in a fight? Yeah. With each other? No. Oh, I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, how many fucking fights have we got in? <laughs> Good amount. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> oh yeah, see, even she's excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we went downtown, some random fucking... I lived down there at this time. And this is when downtown was full of hipsters, not yuppies. Like, it is now. So we go to some fucking hipster house party. And we're drunk. And we don't give a fuck. So, as soon as we walk in, 
<laughs> I see, I don't remember what it was, but I, I kicked something over and it broke. And like, that set the tone for how we were acting at this party. So we walk through, walk in the backyard, we say what's up to the people we see, whatever that we know. And we're just standing there and the shit was weird. Like, fuck, you know, hipsters are, this shit's weird. We're, yeah. We don't. They're just standing, smoking cigarettes, judging. Or they're smoking yeah. jewels now, judging. <laughs> so there was, there happened to be like a glass, like coffee table outside. And there happened to be like a fucking polo stick, like a stick with a fucking thing on the end. Okay. And I'm just like, damn, dude, what the fuck? We're bored as shit. This shit's whack. Like, you fucking DK or destruction crew. I'm gonna fuck some shit up. And I'm like, yo, Zuka, I bet you won't break that glass table with this polo stick. <laughs> oh, no. And he's like, <laughs> out of nowhere, straight shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, and I'm like, holy fuck. I was just fucking with this. <laughs> so that set it off. People were like, what the fuck? Da, 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 da. And like, one dude grabs a stick from Zuka and like, one dude grabs Zuka and they start wrestling. Like, Zuka's fucking mopping them up throughout the backyard. While they're going this way, tumbling, some dude picks up the polo stick, full on swings at my homie Eric, and like, he ducks. If he didn't duck, he probably would've got killed. Like, this shit was like, boom, he ducks, tackles dude. And I'm standing there like, who the fuck wants it? And like, everybody's just like, what is going no, on? No, they're like, yeah. I don't want to fight you. I'm like, fucking faggot. Like, I was so <laughs> mad because two of my homies are fighting. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, well, there's obviously three of us. There's more yeah. of them. Someone's going to fight me. No one. I was like, God, God damn, damn it. it. So I run over there, kick the dude off Eric, get him up. We go get Zuka, pull that dude off him. And we're leaving. And like, as we're walking out the door, like we're walking out through the house. People are like, what the fuck's going on? Uh... Zuka, one of these dudes gets a, Zuka picks up a hammer. We leave, we walk out the front doors, there's a hammer out front. Zuka fucking grabs the hammer, runs in like, oh, I'm fucking crazy. Just fucking with him, like, because he's, we don't give a, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, these people don't know dude. him, yeah. so he's like, I'm acting fuck. He's like, I'm yeah. fucking crazy, ha. Ah. <laughs> this dude picks up a stool, like, and Zuka fucking hits the stool with the heart, like the sharp end of the hammer. Yeah. A couple times and it sticks in there. And then he just leaves it in there and we walk out and like kicks their bikes over when we leave and we just fucking take off. Hell yeah. <laughs> we were there for like 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they man. have that same story. Remember those three guys that came and oh, smashed yeah. that coffee table and ruined our Guaranteed. stool? Guaranteed. <laughs> and I've seen those people. Like, I lived right around the corner. Yeah. I've seen them at Bikini Lounge. Like they wouldn't say shit. Yep. I'm like, that's that crazy fool, man, who broke my yeah, fucking uh, table. We got in there a couple times. And then Zuka fucking beats cancer like a motherfucker. Leukemia. He's a fucking powerhouse. He's still going. I just talked to him the other day. He's still like living with his grandma out Man, in Chandler. He's, he's uh, living, restoring. He's trying to get back to his uh, mini truck he started a long time ago. Mm-hmm. He just has time on his hands. Yeah. So and that thing him. needs time. Yeah. So that's he's just putting in work on that, yeah. which is fucking tight. He loves that thing. He's down to do one of these, too. I'm going to get him on here. Damn, that'd be fucking so good. Yeah, we got stories, He needs, he needs to talk. Hell yeah. Biggest difference in BMX from early 2000s and now? RJ or? Oh man, RJ knows that answer. Early 2000s and now? Yeah. Fuck. Now it's. Let me just cut this now, there's one minute. Alright, early 2000s and now. Early 2000s, I feel like <clears throat> it was more real and it was harder to get to any kind of level you know what I mean like you couldn't just get sponsored back then like yeah. you had to fucking know why do you think that is I don't know it was wasn't well, Instagram yeah I have an idea it's probably like no one media. could see you for one exactly and the internet <laughs> for yeah. example and you who you were mattered more I feel like yeah they had to know you back then like Think about how Animal was back then. There was no fucking new motherfuckers on them. Yeah. It was all East Coast only. Their group of friends, basically. Yeah, and it was all people they knew before you got on. And it's like, now I understand you got to sell shit. So people put people on, you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. but now it's like, if you're hot on Instagram, sometimes people just get small. I feel like those days are kind of over. Yeah. A couple years ago on Instagram, people were getting just 
swooped up like yeah oh you're fucking good you have to be like truly exceptional on instagram right now like there's this one kid from argentina did you see the 720 cam i saw it that today, just yeah. got posted like i just saw it and that dude is past it, he like, deserves like, something for sure like that's my dream trick right that's there. what i'm like, saying it's like fuck. now people do that shit and put it on instagram yeah which it's, it's very it frustrating is man very it frustrating. is what it is it's the fucking time we're in yep that's it's, the biggest difference it's like to instant Instant, instant gratification. gratification and it's like shit gets overlooked mm-hmm. a lot these it's, days well you just forget the next day it's like yeah, okay what's, something what else you got motherfucker I think it's the there's still something to it I, I like have that battle in my head so much of just like should I just film clips every day and put them on Instagram nah. like properly and shit it's, it's not <clears throat> like to um, that part point yet Dr. Purple Teeth is a cool example of like a skate filmer who used to do big projects and then he switched to doing just fun clips on the GoPro every day on his Instagram and I think like after this next mediocre at best two I'm probably gonna do something like that like having the fucking long term maybe I don't know like but the difference between the satisfaction of like saving shit forever working on it for a long time working on it hard and like having the premiere night that is pretty That's much best part, pretty much unbeatable the premiere night is like actually what I kind of live for at this point the first premiere I ever had was that fucking Nora Cup. That shit. Yeah, dude. No. <laughs> that shit was crazy. It's fucking nuts. <clears throat> yeah, I remember yeah, that. I think that's that the biggest difference. Good Nora Cup. Instagram. Yeah. And the instant, instant shit. Like. Yeah. And the, the writing, is. It's reached. progressed. It's no yeah. Doubt. Well, yeah, but it's like also repetitive, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah. But there's still people doing their own thing. That's fucking. <sighs> yeah, I like like. There's something about just like something like Chase Dehart, the simple tricks oh with great style that is like actually See, timeless. He's an exception to the top tier pros who still fucking rides how he's always ridden. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying they don't, but like he is gonna do him. Yeah. He's not fucking following no trends. Yeah. It's he, fucking awesome, I dude. Love I love it. it. Yeah. It's, it's like definitely inspiring. You fucking Robbie, him like the old like. Uh, there's another question here talking about level three. Uh, but yeah, you guys are all inspirations to just keep doing it. Like, mm-hmm. let's see. Where's level three at? ABQDNV says, anything Albuquerque related? <laughs> oh man, I love fucking Albuquerque. Yeah. That's like my home away from home. I'm in a group chat with most of the homies from Albuquerque. And it is nonstop comedy. Just shit talking. Yep. Constant shit talking. Hawkeye. Oh man, that's Hawkeye. where Hawkeye came from. Yeah, it's fucking New Mexicans. You guys have a Instagram for Hawkeye? You want Insta Insta Hawks Insta, Two Eleven? Insta Hawks Two Eleven. Don't really do nothing much with it anymore, but Ding Insta Hawks Two Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks. But yeah, it, they're the homies. I fucking love that place. It's so grimy there. It's like a lawless town. It used yeah. to be. I don't know. I ain't been there in a long time, but we used to get away with everything there. I we would go really there, trip there. We would drive there and. To ride and we would just party the whole time. Yeah, like it'd be a fucking drive eight hours to binge drink. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it. That sounds fucking fun, man. I but went we, to we got some two shit down double there also. We got some shit down there. All right, has level RJ Orr says has level three. Did level three thirty plus help unlock any new tricks? I'm gonna say nope. Hell. <laughs> I don't think the last trick I learned was a turn or was a tail whip. In two thousand. That was twenty seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> At Goodyear Skate Park, it was the last trick I learned. It was a fucking Sick. tail whip. I think. That's pretty bomb. Sure. Last real trick. Let's see, dude. I think uh, we covered it all, man. I feel like level three. I just you get better at doing what you do on your bike mm-hmm. versus learning. If you keep up with the yeah. stretching and the exercise yeah. and then the diet. Like I don't give a shit about learning shit. I just want to ride. And yeah ride spots that I can do shit on. Yeah, I like so your like, riding with the specific setups and kind of simple tricks, but cool. Like the feeble on that guardrail, it's like a wall ride feeble that you did. It's fucking awesome. Uh, and then just for the record, Nick Bonnell says one last Street Fighter. God damn it. God oh damn yeah, it. he's been hurt from every Street Fighter. Me and yeah, him just talking about that. Shit. Every single one he's been hurt. Well then, there's a reason to tip the maybe damn. towards a yes. Just for Nick, huh? Yeah. Motherfucker. Just for little old Nick, man. Let's talk about Nick for a second. You got him on uh, the animal, animal plug. Yeah. He's a fucking boss, dude. Nick. 
Kind of is, isn't he? He's a boss. He's been a boss since he was a little kid. Yeah. The first day I met him, it's just been good. Where'd you meet him? I don't know, probably a deck, I think. Yeah. I think I've probably seen him there. Yeah. But he was like a really little kid, and we were yeah. probably 20s something. We're like, damn, this kid's sick, whatever. Yeah. We're out, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like, oh, come with us. Yeah. But I just knew he would keep riding because he was that fucking good. Yeah. Like, he was out of his crew, he was the best one. For sure. And I just, you could tell when someone is going to keep riding. And he's, I didn't see him for a while. And whenever I see him, it'd be all love, you know what I'm saying? Like, saying what's up to him. And you could just tell us the real, real deal. Yeah. And yeah. I knew he, he didn't need any advice from me back then. He just knew, I knew he was on a ride. And yeah. I would see him again later and he'd be fucking better. And every time I saw him, he was better and better and better. Yeah. And now he's, it took, it took forever for everybody else to know. Yeah. But he's been who he was for years. A very long time. Years. Doing crazy shit without a camera. Too. Yeah, dude. Don't, on his way home from work. Yeah. Fucking do some wild shit. I think he's probably out of everybody in Arizona put more mileage in on his bike. Like uh, he just pedals everywhere, thing. dude. I would say the same. He knows the grid system pretty well. He knows the city, which I feel like you should know your fucking city, dude. Yeah. But dude, if you're a street Phoenix rider. is a massive city to know, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's been around, like, living different spots, you know what I'm saying? And riding from point A to point B, and you just find shit. And yeah. He knows how to ride and he fucking kills it on there. And he's he's gonna be he's gonna be something dude. He's gonna be the next he's gonna take over the city, I feel like. Yeah. He's gonna be once I'm done. I'm not saying I run this city or anything, I'm yeah. saying like once we phase out because we're old, you know what I mean? Like well, he's he, gonna was be Was he born here, I wonder? I feel like he's from here. Yeah. He could be from I feel like else. It, it's in the blood. I don't know. You can smell it. He's you can smell fun. it. He's from here, shit. Yeah, you can smell the heat. But I feel like he's gonna just keep going and mm -hmm. he's gonna it's gonna be part of the new Arizona like I think about how Smoker Gons Rat Boy Chris Toth I heard Chris Toth's engineered but Rat Boy Gons Smoker are all fucked off somewhere yeah like they I looked up to them so much as a yeah. kid they represented Arizona Phoenix street riding and then I feel like they just blew it yeah, as far as not even like sponsorship wise but as people. being your fucking holding your city down or yeah being a fucking what are a stand up guy you know that, like taking care too, of yourself but like yeah. it's part of your scene like yeah. when you think of a city like if I think of fucking Denver I think of Dustin yeah. if I think of Long Beach I think of my homies there you know what yeah. I mean like when people think of Arizona they used to think of them yeah like smoker you know what I mean yeah. now I think you know, we got me and Robbie have a lot of homies who come here through U2. Yeah. But I feel like they dropped the ball, and that's a big thing to me. I don't want to do that. I yeah. The scene is what you make it, isn't it? Yep. Just part of this scene and represent for the city. Dude, Nick had Mexico's. some fucking, he had some magical moments for Lightworks. Like, he's going to be the next one that people are going to be like, oh, we're going to Phoenix. Wouldn't yeah. stay with Nick or yeah. go ride with Nick. Yeah. Like how they come to ride with you yeah. or me or Robbie. Like he's gonna be the fucking He ain't gonna drop the ball, I don't think. Like yeah. he's the fucking man. The, he knows it. The deck park banger clip where he's like the tires, tires, tires oh, swing. Yeah. He, that was like maybe forty five minutes before the sun came up. So we're like mm. I'm driving him back to his apartment, like and the sun's coming up and we're on the seventeen and he's in the back of the car like Messed up knee, just rolling up a blunt, passing it to us, and it's just like fucking. It was a magical moment, dude. I, like, I was like, this is one of, this is one of those moments, dude. Yeah, because you know what <clears> he <throat> just awesome. Did. I remember when we seen that setup. We, me and Robbie were riding, and I fucking what did I, did I insta snap it to Nick like tire 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 Smith, and he's like, oh, you calling out my tricks? I'm like, no, nah, <laughs> we just know you could do it. Yeah. Or when I, I don't know, he he snapped it or something, and I said that something like that yeah. happened, but I told him. We saw. We you can know what's fucked, you doing that. Did, did, did you know that he like One, two, thought three. of that originally, and then he like called an audible. He's like, "I'm gonna three out." Yeah. And then that's how like he just kept tire riding and dropping and dropping and dropping and like that kind of hurt him. And then the three he messed. Yeah, he messed up uh, getting to the three sixty, and then he's like, "All right, fine, I'll just do the Smith." And yeah. it's just like, it's like what? <laughs> Dude, like, that was the best thing he could do. Yeah. I feel like that uses every tire to gap, tire to gap. Yeah. And then grind the last one like. Fucking awesome. Instead dude. of tricking off the last one. That shit was fucking... 
He's a man. Yeah. I've been scared to film him again because of his knee, but he's already back on it going hard. Yeah, I went with him. I rode him uh, the other day mm-hmm. when you were in, at the wedding. Yeah. That next Sunday. Yeah, yeah, but I got him on Animal because he's a fucking man. He deserves to be on Animal. Mm-hmm. And he's always loved Animal. And I want someone else in Arizona to represent Animal because yeah. I'm not going to be riding forever. Yeah. And I mean, Animal in Arizona, I feel like because... Because uh, of the history of... Yeah, Edwin and all them rode yeah. with Gons and Rat Boy. And mm-hmm. I'm like, it's it's a thing. Gon, or Smoker Day was part of the first animal team. Like, There's always been some to an Arizona animal, and I don't want it to end with me. Yeah, so... That's real. Nick. That's very real. That's you know what I'm cool. saying? I think I got him on... Yeah, I got him on Sunday with Walter. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, man. He's the shit. Mm-hmm. So what's for dinner? What are you doing now? I have no idea. I think uh, we, we, we talked enough, huh? Yeah, I'm cool. If you're cool. I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> Talk some shit, swallow some spit. <laughs> All right. Episode three, Kano knows is over. See you later. Get, come here, give me a thumbnail. Thumbnail? Yeah, get up in here. Oh, shit. Uh, you got to get closer. When I did it with Dean, he was so small, so I need you closer than I am. There we go. Fucking right, feel on. like John Hicks or something. Oh, thumbnail. Thumbnail, bro. That'll do it. That's that's a good thumbnail. Uh, I know a good thumbnail when I see <laughs> one, huh? Thanks for watching. Come here, girl. Arf. Come here. So uh, saying dog, she barks. Nice. <laughs> Arf. 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 What are you crying for?